But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my welcome here, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. It's MJ playing baseball. You know, great people are willing uh, are willing to try and willing to fail. But he, Mike said something, and this is what touched on this subject, man. Check it out. We'll never understand that to be success. You know, all they think about, well, he batted 202. You know, and he struck out a certain number of times. Yeah, okay. You know, but the effort was there. And the learning curve and the passion was there that has transcended not just to me, but to other people who are afraid to do things because they're worried about the perception that they come from other places. So that's the things that my father and my mother instilled in me. Take a negative and turn it into a positive. Don't be afraid to fail. People don't see that. See. Michael Jordan retired at the, at one of the heights of his career, right? And um, and he played baseball, and, and he he wasn't you know he was the best basketball player in the world. He decided to play baseball, and he was in the minor leagues. And like he said, he batted two or two in the minors as the best basketball player uh, in, alive, right? So, but people are saying, man. <laughs> You know, why would you do that? That's crazy. But he wasn't willing to, he, he wasn't willing to not go for something. And a lot of people seem to forget that, you know, we only have one life. And I understand when you, when you went in and you don't, and, and you had the pinnacle, people don't, people don't pivot. People don't try something else. But not just the most successful people, but the most fulfilled people are the kind of are the people who are who are willing to try and fail. You know, they, they don't have a problem with that. You know, you, you see people who fail, who they did this thing and they were good at it, and it's like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. It's like you've never done that before. Yeah, but I always wanted to do it. And they do it. Whether they succeed or fail, they they're putting a lot of effort. And like he said, the passion is there, the effort is there. They're putting it into something else. And whether they succeed or fail, it's going to pay off in the long run. You see people, you know, build a, a, upon, upon what they've already done. And they're like, okay, you see people orchestrate their lives in the sense of, okay, I'm here, I'm going to go over here, and then I'm there, then I'm going to go over there. And... Some people are doing it like a like a monkey branching or a step ladder to step up to the next thing and up and up and up and up and up. But see, the problem is when you do that, sometimes you get to the top of wherever you were going, but there is nothing after that. But if you pivot left and right and up and down and diagonal, you know you create you create a circle in a sense. So you can always go this direction, you can always go that direction, you can always go this direction. There, there is no, you know, oh, I'm at the top, I'm done, you know, there is no, I gotta retire because I took all these steps up. Kind of like, people look at, some people look at life like politicians look at the presidency. See, after, after you're done being a president, it's over. Ain't, ain't, that's the highest you could go. We done, well, I guess that's it. You know, and people are, are will take their whole political career to chase the presidency and once they get it and they're done you see most of them don't do much after that you know that's it but then you have people who are let's just say business people they're in a certain business but then this is their bread and butter but they let me branch off and do something like this and using michael jordan as a reference if you watch the movie air the nike movie about about the jordan brand or um Nike was is a running shoe company. That's what it was. It's a running shoe company, Prefontaine and all that, right? Phil Knight, running shoes, and they wanted to get and, and I forgot the brother's the guy's name, but he wanted to get into basketball. So basically, they 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 basically leveraged their whole basketball budget on Michael Jordan at the time, as a when he was a rookie. 
and, and luckily enough, they pulled it off because they catered to some specific things that he that, that, that could work with him. And he, he just happened to be the, the perfect guy at the perfect time, right? And I say, say they had, they put like a million into it or whatever. And I think the, the shoe made somewhere between like 50 and 100 million the first year, something, something crazy. Um, so, so it, it, it dwarfed what they were doing, you know, it started dwarfing what they were doing with the other shoes, which brought, you know, af over the years, other athletes, other, you know, that's how you got the Charles Barkley, the Scotty Pippins, the, you know, the King Griffey Jr., the Bo Jackson, the Deion Sanders, that's how all of those signature shoes, brands, Barry Sanders, you know, that, that's how all these things came to be, right? So, fast forward to the LeBrons and the Kobe's and this, that, and the third. Um, but they were, they, they didn't mind pivoting and trying something, even though they, you know, it was, it was a, it was a battle. It was reluctant. You know, you know it's kind of like, ah, ah, we could lose, we could lose it all with this one. And they were willing to take that chance. And you, and you, I find it interesting that, you know, some people are so afraid of, of failure that they'll never succeed. Because they're, it, it, it's hard to put your all into something and then come up short when you when you when you're pivoting away from something that you know you know is is consistent. But if you watch a lot of uh, successful people, they kind of do things like just they're different. I mean, sometimes it happens by happenstance. Sometimes it's planned out. But taking taking going in a different direction says something. You know, Michael Jordan. Has the basketball, then he went to baseball, then he went back to basketball. Then, he, of course, the shoes. But I think he got a NASCAR. He became a, a owner of a, of a team. I think he's trying to he's selling the team now. That that sucks. Uh, but he got golf course, like you know, uh, liquor, uh, tequila rather. You know, it's, it's a bunch of different things. But people don't take into consideration, you know, that all of that doesn't add up with basketball. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't just go back. Oh, basketball doesn't say all of those things. Those things say, you know, I'm pivoting. You know, I got other interests and I would like to try them. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to um, do something different. You know, Charles Barkley was great in basketball, but he sucks at golf. But guess what? He's a TV analyst. And now he's, he's going to have a, like a political show. All that doesn't really go together. But if you're willing to try it's worth it, right? Kevin Hart went from a comedian to a movie star. The Rock went from a wrestler to a movie star. It's happened before, but you know, people got to be willing to try it. You know. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.